Good evening. First off, I want to apologize. It's 7.06 for all you sports fanatics. That's six minutes since the ball tipped off for the Celtics tonight. So again, I am so sorry. I like being prompt, but you know, some things you cannot help. Like when you have a setup that involves two different groups and then when they combined and then some kids are like, well, I'm not gonna do that combination piece and then you're like, well, I put a chair out there. So there's some empty spots that will be filled after their, their segment. So I'm not terrible at math, I assure you. There was a method to my madness. Uh, we also give a big pep talk tonight back there. They're all fired up and ready to go. Some of them are <laughs> very nervous. I told them once they hit the stage, they're gonna be happy. I may have lied. <laughs> For some, it's true, you know. Uh, what we have in front of us is the first year band. Uh, as you can tell, as they're all talking behind me, they're very antsy and ready to get going. So rather than bore you to death, we're going to start with our first song, to Calm the Nerves, and then I'll come back and we'll talk. Our first piece this evening is Hot Cross Buns. do this stuff. Uh, this is the biggest piece of responsibility these kids have had since birth. And some of your parents are like, yeah, well, I do a lot of it for them. And I appreciate that. But also, this is a part of them growing up. Um, there are days where, you know, kids will go home like, man, Mr. D was mad today. And I look at them at the end and go, listen, you know I care about you, but you're always going to remember that day I didn't show up prepared. And guess who's gonna show up prepared from now on? You are. And they're like, oh, oh that makes sense. And I was like, yeah, that's because I was in fourth grade too and I didn't show up prepared once and I always showed up prepared <laughs> after that. So this is a big learning thing for them. Um, they're extremely happy, extremely proud, I'm super proud of them. Our next piece we're gonna kick off for you is a piece called Au Claire de la Lune. scheduled that concert in less than 20 minutes. I was pretty pretty happy about that. For some reason, everything aligned. I got Matthew Eaton on the email, I got my piano player on the phone, and everyone's like, yeah, this date works. I'm like, oh, okay, it's not so bad. But now you guys got to suffer through Jingle Bells in January, so you're welcome. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, Jingle Bell January you right now, so enjoy. Thank you. 
Since holiday music in January is so fun, we're just going to keep rolling. We're going to do some dreidel dreidel for you now. <laughs> to remix the next song because you know we don't do things very standard in our school that's just the way that's the way I like to do things so uh, we changed this song to fit us because we're so fun and we're very talented and I only did this one other time with another group and I said you know what I, I want to bring that back and they're like yeah that sounds like fun let's do that so with 15 minutes left to spare I said okay we're gonna do this 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 and move this here and that's gonna be there and they're like uh, okay and it works, so we're going to do this for you. So this song is great because we're going to feature a little bit of each group so you can hear each individual sound. So here's my shameless plug. All you kindergartners to third graders in Burwood schools, please pay attention to the sounds because in a couple of years you're going to be up here with me and you get to hear which instrument you like. So that's the instrument you should play. All right, here it is. Good cue, what's this list? A little bit of a tradition here at school. Uh, I always throw a step up piece to any first year student who's showing like real promise and has done everything I've asked of them in terms of practicing note recognition, rhythm recognition, things of that nature. Uh, it's really a way to engage students and really push them to their maximum potential in such a short time. Uh, it kind of rolled into one of those things where 
the kids that didn't get to play it in their first year band, they get to play it as a second year band, so it's kind of like full circle. Uh, the kids you see in front of us is a combination of some first years and the second year band, and uh, every year we play the piece called Conquest. Uh, so give it up for these individuals who work really hard for the first year band. Before we play this uh, combined piece, uh, I just want to do a couple housekeeping announcements for you. Um, starting next week, we are kicking off our t-shirt fundraiser for the music program. Uh, I had the wonderful pleasure of uh, meeting with the person that I collaborate with to create these designs, and she gave me a copy so I could show it to you. So here it is. This is this year's color. It's very pretty, or manly, whatever one you want to go with. I think it's pretty manly, but you know. <laughs> the front is the letter M for noble. Say it. Ooh. And then on the back, say it with me. Ah. ah. That's very nice. Very. You guys are great, man. We'll take it on the road. Great. So you can see the drumsticks and the emblem, and also the noble knight. Half of his profile is a piano. Music, right? Ah. So these are going to go on sale on Monday. Um, so if you don't see paperwork that does actually make it in your child's bag, or so they tell me it does, then you can personally email me, like, I haven't seen one of those forms yet. And I'm like, funny, I've given out five. So, you know, good direct communication sometimes. We're still working on the responsibility piece, so, you know, forgive us. Here is our piece, The Conquest. Your band. Uh, I've had the wonderful privilege of working with these individuals for their second year in music. They work extremely hard. It's a lot of fun to see them grow, and it's a lot of fun to reminisce. They see these guys coming in with their new instruments, they're like, man, I remember that. That was scary. I'm like, yeah, not so scary anymore, is it? They're like, no, I'm like, that's because you learn things. That's good. So we continue that process. And uh, we have two songs for you tonight, and the first one is uh, something different, it's called Ghost Host. Enjoy! Thank you. 
These guys are awesome. They're a lot of fun to work with. They're really funny. I don't know if you parents, you probably for your parents are like, they're not really that funny. They, they are really funny to me. I, I get off the mic and I go, go back to my music. They're like, you talk an awful lot, huh? And I look at them and I go, you take a long time to get ready, huh? And they're like, oh yeah. I think they're hilarious. They're a great bunch to work with. Uh, I am very lucky to do what I do. Um, I know that not many people can say that proudly about their jobs, you know. Life is hard, times are hard, we get it. But I consider myself truly blessed to work with individuals who can literally make me laugh on a, on a terrible day, no less. Uh, I always tell them that mistakes are something that we learn upon, we build upon. It's okay to make a mistake because you're trying. That's the whole point that I try to push on. I don't care that these kids are the greatest musicians in the world. I care that they're good people. Year in and year out, we have a wonderful community which pumps out beautiful people, really. The kindness of souls. Um, I've seen kids be at their absolute worst, and these other kids just pick them up and just do something out of the kindness of their heart. Um, ch just a child bringing in money for a kid for a book that didn't have one, but was too afraid to ask for one or couldn't afford one, whatever the scenario. Just, you know, melt your heart. Things like that, they're unprompted. It's just give it up for your kids, basically. There, so I don't cry. So uh, our uh, final piece for you before we flip the stage for chorus is a piece called Dragon Dance. Enjoy.
Uh, our next piece is a very beautiful piece. It's called Coming from the Firefly Darkness. Uh, this year we decided to do something new that I hadn't done yet. And I was like, yeah, I think it's time. We opened it up to have soloists. Uh, I had a bunch of fifth graders come in during their lunch to audition, which I thought was pretty appropriate because fifth graders, this is their final year with me, so I let them go ahead and audition, and uh, we select four students, and I always do this, and now I'm so happy I did. I always pick two per part, it's just in case an illness pops up or something, and it happens, so we still have both parts, and I'm like, I'm the smartest man alive, so, you know, just that's my moment, just give that to me, thank you, all right? So, we have, uh, for the soloists, if you wanna raise your hand, where are you guys? Oh, there they are. there's the three soloists, give it up for them already, Woo! So here is coming from Firefly Darkness. So I give it up to those guys that just sang that solo. Everything we do in school is a teachable moment. Uh, every student that auditioned for that solo, I made sure that we sat down and talked about, you know, the process of auditioning. And even though we only picked a select few, uh, they have to think long term. In the, in the future, when another audition comes up, they're gonna have one more leg up on the competition because the nerves aren't there. They know what an audition is. They understand the process versus someone coming and saying, oh my gosh, I don't know, what, I, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna ask? Like, All right. So I make sure that I prep these kids saying, you know, even if you weren't selected for this, 
that's okay because now you have the knowledge to move forward and be that much better in the future. And that's everything we do in our school is a learning experience. So hats off to everyone who auditioned for that solo and hats off to the solo song. With this being our final piece, uh, a couple extra housekeeping things. For pickup tonight, uh, after this song, I'm going to uh, explain to you the pickup process. So make sure you stay seated for that because it's very important that we do this as least chaotic as possible. Uh, I'd also like to thank Miss Elaine Savage on piano tonight for coming out. And thank you. A couple other uh, shameless plugs. I'd like to thank my coworkers who are here tonight supporting me, uh, the music department, my elementary coworkers. Uh, they're here tonight. I appreciate them so much. My principal, who's a rock star, I appreciate her and all the support I get from music for these kids. Give it up. tonight for you is a piece called Chubara, and I know you're like, well, Chubara, what is that? Well, believe it or not, Chubara is not even a real word, it's made up, you're welcome. Um, everything in this piece, um, everything in this piece is made up. Chubara, Fido Lee, and Chow Bear Sea are all made up words, so I hope you enjoy them. At the end of this song, I will tell you where to go pick up your child. Thank you so much.
never been to a concert before that there was demanded an encore by the people in it. So I guess, I guess this is so, this is really happening. So what I'm going to tell you right now is those three made up words. Uh, we made up our own song, and we did it in like 13 and a half minutes one day. So we performed it for our school as something fun, but now you guys get to hear it too. You're welcome. Okay. So here's our definition of true love. Check the television, it's on there for sure. Uh, at this time, my first 